Okay, so aside from the whole having to be like half naked when you go to the bathroom, jumpsuits are pretty great. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be tackling the very trendy this year jumpsuit. This is a pretty easy DIY that I think anyone out there could pull off. One of the biggest benefits of refashioning is that you can keep up with the latest trends without having to break the bank. So without further ado, for this project you will need one slightly oversized or just very loose and flowy maxi dress. Um, you can pick a maxi dress with the type of top you want, or you can change the top altogether. I picked up this black and white polka dot maxi dress from the thrift store for $6. Okay, so first things first, I tried on the dress and I just used some tailor chalk to mark my waist. Um, this is just where I'm going to separate the top and the bottom of the dress from each other. So you can go with a more natural waist, a dropped waist, it's just depending on your preference for where you want your pants to start and your top to end. Um, once I made that mark, I took the dress off, put it on the floor, and just cut across um, using that line that I drew. Okay, next I am going to take the bottom part of my dress that I just cut off, and I'm going to lay it on the floor, and this is what we're going to use to make our pants. So I opened that up, um, and I am just picking a pair of pants from my closet that have the shape that I want. Yes, these are maternity pants, but they had the right fit that I was going for. And I'm going to fold them in half like you saw me do, matching up those outer side seams um, so that the front of the jeans or the pants are up facing me. And then I pulled out that crotch seam as you just saw me do, and that creates this pants shape. Um, and then I'm going to trace that and cut that out and then I will flip the pants and trace and cut out that side as well. This will give me two front pieces and then I will repeat um, with the back of the pants. Um, I already had a pattern piece that I used for these but that's how I originally created this pattern piece was just folding my pants like that so you can do this at home too. So I'm going to cut out again two front pieces and two back pieces. I am also making sure that I am marking um, what pieces these are. So I say front or back, one, two. Then I am going to match up a front and a back piece, right sides together. And once I get that all laid out nice and straight, I will go ahead and pin down the side seam and the inner leg seam. So the seam that goes from your crotch down to your ankle. Those, once those are pinned, I will take those over to the sewing machine and sew those two seams. Okay, so now that I have each pant leg, I am going to connect them together um, with those crotch seams. So I make sure that you have your front and your front on the right side and your back and your back on the right side. Line up the crotch and pin that together and then you are just going to go up the front of the pant and up the back of the pant, um, just pinning those together, right sides together, just pinning that seam all the way down. Once that's all pinned, we will just go ahead and sew that center seam. So this again is the seam that goes from the top middle of the pant down through your crotch and around back along your butt. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I did is I just chopped off the top of my pants and the, the bottom at the legs just to make sure that these were evened out. Then I'm going to take the top of my jumpsuit and I'm just going to add some darts to the bust area. So I am just folding um, along the bust area, <laughs> just a line, um, ironing and pinning and I will just sew in a couple darts to take in the size as well as add some shape to the top. Um, I decided to add some darts to the back of my pants as well just because there was a little extra bulk back there and I wanted to do these to fit. Um, a little better. So I'm going to um, iron, pin, and then sew all of those darts in place. 
And you may have to do some playing with this to make sure that you um, are taking in enough and not too much. Um, just take in a little at a time, try it on, and then adjust if needed. Then I'm going to connect the top and bottom of my jumpsuit. So I am putting right sides together, um, matching up the center back seam of my top and my pants. And I'm going to pin that in place and then pin around the whole thing. Um, again, this is matching the top to the bottom, right sides together, um, just trying to match up the center back seam as well as the side seams. Then I will sew that together. This is hatches the top to the bottom and I am going to unfold and now I am going to unpick my center back seam of my jumpsuit. I'm going to pick from the top of the bodice down into the pants and I'm going to unpick um, just down, uh, just like halfway down my butt. <laughs> just whatever amount you need to be able to get your jumpsuit on um, is how much you'll want to unpick. Once I have that unpicked, I am going to add a zipper down that center back seam. So I, you'll see me putting in a pink zipper here, but I, after I had it in, I decided I didn't like it, so I went back in and added a white zipper. But um, same process. I am just putting one side of the zipper, matching it up with the top, and then going down and pinning um, with, my, with the seam that was already there that I unpicked. I hope that makes sense. If you've ever put in a zipper, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I will just pin that all the way down as far as I unpicked, tuck the end of the zipper in, pin it in place and go back up the other side. Um, after I have it all pinned, I like to zip up my zipper just to make sure that it's even and there's no puckering, um, that it's all lined up correctly. And then, but I do like to have it unzipped when I sew it. So then I will take that over to the sewing machine and just sew along the edge um, using like a quarter inch seam, um, turning down at the bottom and then coming back up the other side. The next thing I did was I made a belt for my jumpsuit and I'm using the same method I use a million times in my videos, just cutting out strips, sewing them together and then kind of using the bias tape method folding them in half and then in half again and doing a top stitch so that I have finished edges. And then the last thing to do is hem the bottom of the pants and we are all done. Let's take a look at the final transformation. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial for this refashion. There is a big bowl of ice cream calling my name in the other room. So I think that's all I have to say. I will catch you guys again soon. Bye. The very trendy, very current um, trend. Very trendy trend. <laughs> okay, so I like already had two bowls of ice cream today, like two helpings. And I really, 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 really want another bowl. I'm trying to control myself. I'm fine knowing people watch my videos and I'm fine watching them like by myself. But to like see someone watching them, like I die inside a little bit. <laughs> I hate bugs. Hate, 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 hate bugs. And this summer for some reason our house is being like invaded by earwigs. When I was little, my older brother and his friend would tell me and my friend that earwigs like try to crawl into your ear and then they take over your brain. And there's like a small part of me that still believes that. <laughs>